Okay guys, so in this video I'm going to do a walkthrough for how to convert your license to Now, in order to convert your license to a Saudi license, it has to be from a country that has been approved in order to convert it to a Saudi license, like the US, Canada, UK, and I don't know which the others are, but it has to be something like that. So this is not the case if you need to go through a driving school and you need to have a certain number of driving hours and take a theory test and a driving test. So this process is only for those licenses that need to be converted from the original license to a Saudi license. So let's go ahead and get started with that. So now after you sign into Upshare, then you're going to click on appointments. And then on this page, you want to click on traffic. On this page, proceed to service. Now here, you're just going to click book new appointment. And then you wait. <laughs> And when it loads, you scroll on down to replacement of driving licenses. Select that, click your region, I am in Makkah, and then you click next. You're going to need to select your city and the traffic school or the traffic department where you're going to go. Since I'm in Jeddah, I'm going to click this one because there is no other one available. Now here um, under country of issuance, my country is the United States. So when you go ahead and select that, you're going to upload the front of your driving license, the back of your driving license, and the translated version of your driving license, which you're going to need to get done by somebody who is certified to do a translation service of your driving license for you. You will also need to upload this in a PDF form. I tried to upload it in a JPEG form and it didn't work. It's set to upload it in the appropriate form, which is a PDF form. And it says it right here, okay? So we also have to compress it, so I went to a website in order to compress that. Now I'm going to pause the video here so that I can upload my details. I don't really want to have that out there for the world to see. And then I will make a follow-up video about what comes next. Okay everybody, so now I uploaded my driving license and um, the certified copy into Arabic and now I'm on this page where I get to select which day I want to come. Now what's important to know again is that I need to make sure I have all the documents done that I need to have done beforehand. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and select Wednesday for my appointment at 10 o'clock because I like that time. <laughs> and what do I need? Okay, so what we really need to make sure is that our documents are authentic, it's not fraudulent or inaccurate. Number two, we have to pay the fees before attending the appointment, and you do this through your bank, through the Sadab service. The third thing is that you need to have your medical test done prior to attending the appointment at, a, at an authorized medical center, okay? Has to be. And also the driving license must be valid on the date. And the fifth thing I don't think applies to me since I don't have a golf license. So this is the appointment time and I'm going to go ahead and confirm it. I don't know what view attachment means. Okay, all right, so I have already done that. All right, so I'm just going to confirm my appointment details. Okay. So now I have confirmed my appointment and I hope um, it is going to be fine. I'm going to make sure I get my medical done on time. I know the facility that I need to go to, so I am pretty sure 
going to be able to do that, but you're going to want to make sure before coming to the site and doing this that you have it done because I don't know about the other facilities and their time that they take in their process. So do that first. Okay, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. So today was my appointment. I went there a few minutes before 10 o'clock. I arrived on time and everyone was really nice, very professional, speaking in English to make it so comfortable for me, which I greatly appreciate. And so when I walked in, the woman said, give me your documents. Uh, she asked me for my translated driving license, my ikama, and uh, my current driving license. So she said, just wait a few minutes and I'm going to print your driving license and I will call you. So a few minutes later, she called me and it was done. I literally took not more than 10 minutes in the whole entire process. There was no written test, there was no driving test, and it was simply a really wonderful experience. I cannot say I've ever had a lovely experience at any DMV-like place before ever in the U.S. It's always a madhouse trying to get your driving license or get anything done in one of those offices. So this was really pleasurable and I appreciate the hospitality and the kindness and how accommodating everyone was and in and out in 10 minutes. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Take care and happy driving.